So a few minor updates today. First of all, making the rest of the pizza because the dough was too big for the oven and the pan. Next, I had my, my assessment interview type deal with the people from UC+, the one of the two subsidized language centers in Denmark for learning Danish. So they have like six modules and then they'll assess you and see where they think you fit. She put me in two because she thinks that three might be just a little bit too much for me, but she said, you know, we can play it by ear. And uh, if the teacher thinks that two is too easy for me, then I can do three. And so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I, I get moved up because I will have A2 certification. If I do the next one, then I would get B1, which would be super cool. But you know, coming out with something, I guess is better than nothing. So hopefully I'll be able to um, move up. That'd be pretty cool. But I got to make my deposit because if I don't finish, I don't get you know, my 200 bucks or whatever back, 300 bucks. Yeah, I'm excited about that. I also get a phone plan, which is interesting. Unlimited calls, 15 gigs of data in Denmark. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I get texts. Um, yeah, this is the guide. Not the guide. This is this is some of the info on it. Um, pretty much most people, I guess, do the third option for the class, which is like the fastest paced. I don't know if this is backwards. If so, read it backwards. Um, I might reverse it. Anyway, I'm skipping module one, jumping into module two. Hopefully I get to do module three instead because I don't have time to do more than one. I could do module one and two if I started earlier, but you know, three and four or two and three, that's too much. I gotta get a book, but I gotta wait for that. Just gotta make my deposit. I also got a COVID test today. I had a sore throat, but I was pretty sure it was caused by acid reflux because I had dealt with some of that and it was like right after, but I am now thinking I might have some sort of illness. I don't feel the best. Slight, you know, feeling in my chest, some phlegm and nose running a little more. Like I feel mostly okay now. It's just that I'm a little stuffed up in my nose. It's hard to tell because sometimes you go outside and just going outside alone will make my nose run coming inside. But, you know, we'll see. Um, wearing a mask again. Not too weird. The weather is not as great today. It's, we've had a streak of really good weather a week or two. But now some very light rain. Uh, it's okay, though. Not too bad. I don't know. Just a casual night in. Nothing much this weekend, I think. That's all. Quick za update here. It shrunk. Just having trouble making it stick, so it's gonna be a little thick, especially right like there, and then some parts with holes. Maybe I can like. And it, I pre-cooked it a little bit because the uh, it was kind of raw last time and it took a while, so I figured it'd be easiest to just give it a little head start. Although I'm just I'm noticing that this is still definitely raw. I was like, do I just pre-cook the dough entirely and just do it very short with stuff on it? But I figure what they normally do is cook it with dough. So I just did three minutes, mostly just the edges, and then the inside's a little bit less raw. But I'll I'll put stuff in now and give it a while. Boy. All right, looks like it's done. Well, I guess the light went off, but I think I made it a little bit tall. I hear that you eat pizza with a fork and knife here, so I guess I could do that. I gotta be careful. This is from burning myself. It has shrunk a lot. I burned myself on that, and uh, I should be careful not to do that again, because it's been really annoying. Also, I didn't think about putting oil again. It's okay. It could go a little longer. I'm just gonna crank the heat. I'm tired of... Oh, it's 2.30 the highest. Oh, okay. All right, broil. I think that's broil setting. The symbol is out of focus. Not out of focus. It's bleeding. I go back up. Like, it's on. Maybe if I go read... Oh! Close? Might be the way to do that. Change the brightness. Exposure? I don't know. There's a... Can I do exposure here? Auto focus? I don't know. It's a little bumpy. Little teeth on the top. Alright, let's do this for two minutes. Broil away. Maybe I could raise it higher. Ah, well. Here's the final product. I am gonna eat it with a fork and knife. It's okay. It could be firmer, but I guess like pizza dough is not firm, like crisp. So I think it's okay. Um, oh no. Anyway, it looks alright. Not crazy tall anymore, now that I have some perspective. Hope it's good. Oh, black pepper. Okay. I just checked my result, and I'm negative. I don't have COVID, but I guess I am still sick. It's weird, I haven't been sick for so long. I guess it's not weird, I haven't been sick for so long. People have been saying the same thing, but it's been nice. You know, not being sick for two years. Back in the real world now. Not to say it's inevitable, but you know, this is how our world is set up right now. So that's good, but I'm, I'm still sick, so I, I, I don't know. I
I guess I'll be careful still. Still wear a mask until I'm better. I mean, as good as not COVID, it's worse. All right, feeling too lazy to type stuff out, so here we go. Saw this on a walk uh, near my apartment, my dorm. It's very funny. Uh, basically, you take honey if you want it, and then you just pay them digitally with their code. Everybody has mobile pay. Very interesting. Very trustworthy. Crazy. That's cool. Very pleasant. It's like the you know, library, the little neighborhood library, lending library thing. And then here is a sign I thought was funny. You know, it's like those like watch out for the kids at play signs. I've since learned that pass pa means be careful or like watch out. So watch out for me. Very cute little old fashioned kind of sign, but I've seen it a few places. And then this was at the other end of the beach from where I live. They have another little park there that I checked out. It's all right. It's not quite as nice as the uh, bars at my end, but you know, it's a little bit, bit of variety. All right, I'm gonna head to the garden store in a sec. Uh, I need some dirt for this pot for my cilantro plant, which I still have yet to name. I was told I need to come up with a name for it, and uh, I don't know. Still working on that. Not really, just put it off. It's unimportant, but uh, you know, once I move it from womb to the real world, I'll need to come up with a name then, so. I have a hour or two. But anyway, time to go to the grocery store, garden store. Uh, there are none that close to me, so I have to go four kilometers south-ish. I haven't explored that bit of Ama yet. Ama is the uh, southern bit of Copenhagen, it's an island. So that'll be interesting. Maybe I'll see some interesting stuff. Gotta get groceries too, but that's what I'm off to. Okay, so I saw this hand drying system when I was at the garden store, and I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like it's a reusable cloth that you take a bit of and then it retracts itself and so you're getting a fresh bit theoretically. I actually came across this when I was doing some research into the most efficient way to dry hands in a hand dryer because I was curious about like the posture of the hands. Could not find an answer to that. Could not even find anything that addressed it. But I did see the this was mentioned as something after I had experienced it. I was very confused when I first saw it because again, I've never seen it. Interesting idea, but I hear that they don't get cleaned very often and so they're not very great. But it was very confusing. I was like, is this for like babies or something? Is this is this for my hands? There's nothing else here to try it. So. I made it to the shop Plantarama. Plantarama. It's pretty cool. I'll show some video of inside, but yeah, I think it's actually in a different city. I don't think it's in Copenhagen. I think it's in Tonbu Tower City. I've seen signs for that. It was cool inside. Uh, I was here for like an hour longer than intended because talking to my cousin called me out of the blue, but that was good. Thanks for watching my videos. Shout out to you. I got my dirt. It was uh, 30 kroner, so it's all like five bucks. Pretty good. I thought I would have to get a much bigger one for 15, but it worked out. Now to get groceries, head home, do a little homework and miscellaneous things. I'm gonna make uh, ebriska soon using a Danish recipe. Uh, little pancake balls. I got the pan. So I better take advantage of it. I got all the ingredients. Maybe tomorrow. Going climbing tomorrow. That'll be fun. It is time. The cilantro plant gets a home. Uh, I hope it lasts enough to warrant its name. It is definitely growing more though, but I've decided on a name. It will be named Knull. I thought of that because I named my computers a name starting with J, and I've started doing Danish names for my last two. And then I was like, okay, well, like maybe not J, maybe K, because that's right after J. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect because it's cilantro, and uh, in Danish they call that like koyanda, something like that. I was like, oh, well, this is a good opportunity because one of my friends was wanting to know what the name would be. So I thought I would give a very hard, well, not like very hard to pronounce but you know something that they would have trouble with canoe and then also I found out the meaning of it is he who holds the waters of the earth and I think this plant will hopefully be holding the waters of the earth if I remember I've been all right so canoe didn't call I don't know something like that let's get it over into the pot now with the dirt there it is all right, here it is. Doesn't look the healthiest. I don't know, it's been a little while. It looks okay, it's just kind of a weird shape. But I hope some new growth comes. I hope it lasts a while, and here's to a long life, Knu. I'll get you some water. 